welcome Toastmaster Fasim Rana. Title of his speech is Spark. Spark, Toastmaster Fasim Rana. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, you must have read or heard. Leaders are readers. Leaders are good listeners. But what do you think? What is one quality a leader must have? Bataye. Uh, he should be confident. Great, confident. You please. He should be motivational speaker at least. <laughs> motivational speaker. Very good. I believe leaders are those who create leaders. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, Assalamu Alaikum and good evening. Good evening, Samir. I know very well. I can't push a train, but I know very well also that I can push a bike and it might start and that person could successfully go to his destination. So first of all, when you are going to lead, you must know your strength and area. Now, since the leadership is a, you know, a big topic, I'm not going to touch everywhere, but a tiny portion of this subject. So in this session, I'm going to talk about only the people are surround and connected to you. As we know, we are, you know, the people we are sitting, not yet we have contributed that much that would we go and influence the world. It's similar like I just push this roof that I will push it, but no. So my point is, first of all, if you are going to lead, you must know your strength. And you must know where you are going to use your power. Now, let's come to the point. Some years ago, I need a driver. And I found one. But he was a new driver. He just got the license. He came to me. I saw in his eyes that he want to work. He want to go through process. The main thing, the person want to change his life and you are going to guide, he must have that spark that he want to change his life. He must have will. Similarly, as the Madam Toastmaster discussed about that seed, when, you, when the, when the uh, murga was uh, you know, buying the seed, if the embryo is dead, how is going to plant come out? So embryo should be alive. I mean by that is that the person you are going to guide, he must have spark. Otherwise you are wasting your whole energy. Now come to the point. That driver came to me, I told him, Mr. ABC, I don't know how much you will earn from me. But one thing I promise you, when you will leave me, you will not have any fear of finding job or losing job. You must have, you know, uh, that thing in your mind that you are not going to fall down, you are going to fly. You will be free from your mind that now I am a player. I can play. I can go anywhere. I can fight for my survival. I can grow. That's I promise you. And he stayed with me three years. Three years. And now he has his own team, his own company, he's running his own company. And that's not only one story. I have different stories. But shortage of time, I just want to tell and emphasize on my point is that when you are going to lead, must understand your strength, must know the area where you are going to use your power. You must know you are wasting or investing. That is the key point. 
Sometimes we think and believe and we try to push the train and we failed. And we think that we are useless. No, I tried something but I failed. No man, you didn't analyze your strength. You took a wrong action. Yes, you have strength. Yes, you have knowledge. Yes, you can change. But the problem is, the way you used, that was wrong. The object you selected, that was bigger, that was heavier than your strength. So the, my point is that leaders are those who create leaders. And that leaders go and they create more leaders. And that leaders, when you know, this, this circle goes on, goes on, goes on, and the many various people are, they are free, they are growing, and they are helping other people. And this is also the theme, that contribution. If you can't contribute the world, contribute to country. If you can't contribute to country, then contribute to your province. You can't contribute to province, contribute to city, con contribute to village. If you can't, at least contribute to one person. I believe if you changed one person life, you have changed the world. So I believe leaders are those who create leaders. That's all. Thank you.